It was early comics that got me into it was like, when I was a kid, it was Batman. And it was my dad's fault, right? He sent away to Frosted Flakes and got three Batman comics, Untold Tales of Batman or Legends of the Dark Knight. And uh, it would be a few years later before I even got more comics. But I was going on a, a trip with school and I was a little shy. My dad's like, why don't you buy some comics for the bus ride and all that stuff? And I went and I got a Flash comic because the Flash was on television, right? So that's how we do get introduced to some of our favorite superheroes still today is through different media, you know? So it was the Flash TV show. But then once the death of Superman happened, I had to see what that was all about and I never looked back. So after I graduated college, I went out to like do my own self-publishing and make my own characters and all that stuff, and I did. So I have my cartoon character, his name's Pissed Off Panda. I love him the most, that's right. So Pissed Off Panda's the world's smallest giant panda, that's why he's got a huge chip on his shoulder. It's a bit of a Napoleon complex. Like it would be this joke about just grouchy guy. It was a way that I got that stuff out. Pissed Off Panda hates this, Pissed Off Panda hates that. It was Pissed Off Panda's book of hate. And it would just be all this stuff, it was funny hate. You know, he hates laundry day. He hates dust in his Nintendo cartridges. Fun puns, things like that. And it was great because I finally had my like Bugs Bunny and then debuted it at the New York Comic Con in 2010. And since then, I've probably done about 200 and something Comic Cons and art festivals and trade shows and all that sort of stuff. I absolutely made it my lifestyle. Time goes on, I was a bartender and I was a waiter and all that stuff, but I wanted to get a job in art, doing art. I opened up a small business downtown in downtown Tucson. It was an art gallery. It was like an art co-op, right? It lasted almost two years, but it was a little tough because it was still my dream. I could never get the co-op feel as much. The Constant Con is gone. Man Gold, where are we gonna go now? We're gonna take this show on the road. Go to gofundme.com slash bus 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 and help Constant Con be the Comic Con that goes on and on, on wheels. Man Gold, grab the wheel. Let's take this show on the road. Woo! <laughs> so I started the idea of let's take, what if I could take this mobile? right? And came up with the idea of the comic book mobile, which isn't just a traditional book mobile that shows up with comics. It also shows up with like the fun character that I am when I show up, wear my suits, do the outfits, I do drawing lessons, shows, provide coloring, and do all that. I just really want kids to be exposed to the ability of coloring and creativity. So I love to just shine a spotlight on kids, shine a spotlight on their talent, and show them why they can draw by breaking it down into shapes. Just that one lesson, I watch kids double their ability. Making a few lines on paper in front of a crowd, and then you connect a couple, and it's Garfield. And, oh, and they recognize it. That's what's fun about it. I feel like a magician. And that was the whole idea. But that's not enough to get a business off the ground. So I needed to make a real reason as to why this business would work and get to the heart of it. So I started to look into some child psychology, and I found a lot of disturbing statistics. Some facts about what life is now that we live in our internet world. Uh, what it is that we've got going on with kids and their experience of bullying at school and the fact that bullying happens after school and it is online and it's endless and it's affecting kids. And the fact that I found out that there was a suicide rate for 10 year olds is where I draw the line. I then use some of that information to point that out and that's what the comic book is about. I wanna go meet kids and help them through my experience. I was bullied, I was shy. The reason I'm the most charismatic person at any event that you see is because I've been working this muscle out since I am in like fifth grade of saying, you gotta not be the nerd that's on every television show and in every movie that's a loser that you made fun of and you are just a punchline. I will not be this in spite of my anxiety, my fear. And I fought so hard to beat that stuff. There we all need a best friend. Now a man's ready to go. This is me most of the time. <laughs> Frank Powers. I'm your BFF, your best Frank forever. Is that friend for Natalia Lopez. <laughs> What's going on over here? She likes to be in the background while Frank steals the show. People have asked me when I wear the cape and the funny outfit, well, so what's your superpower? And I go, I have the power to not be embarrassed. And they always laugh because I'm dressed like a lunatic, right? That is what it is. I love being fun and I want kids to have fun and I want them to know that they can have fun and that their best friend is right in here because that's who it has to be. Because if you don't believe in yourself, how is anyone gonna believe in you, All right? And I came up with this thing where kids don't know if I'm as famous as Mr. Rogers or not, right? So if I make videos and I do this and I become this guy, I become this example, your best friend forever, right? That says, I believe in you, okay? But all I gotta do is get you to believe in me. Because if you believe in me, and then I say I believe in you, 
you believe in yourself. So I go take a 17 week course at Startup Tucson. Startup community is amazing here in Arizona, right? So I take this course and at the end of it, it turns into a Shark Tank style pitch competition. That's where pulling on those heartstrings matters. I'm not just here to be funny and to be wacky. I'm here to help your children because this statistic exists. And that's why I won that competition. And then I start to think about the bus, right? What am I gonna get? What's the vehicle gonna be? And the VW was the best choice people wave at you. They give you a thumbs up. And that's just because it's a VW bus. So when that thing shows up at an event, it is nothing but smiles. It's nothing but old stories from folks saying how they used to have one and the adventures that they went on. It is practically like walk. It's practically driving a hook. Have a great day. You too. He's a very fun man. Let him create a character for you. So I start to get all the bookings just like a doctor, like a tattoo artist. That was the goal because all these gigs, all right, I don't know what I'm gonna make. And I started up oh, in April, I've got this many gigs, I'll make that. In May, I've got that many, I'll make this. And then this thing happened called the coronavirus. So then that was it. And I was stuck with that thing sitting and it just fell apart in the yard for almost two years. And I do have a wrestling analyst here in studio right now. He goes by the legendary. Macho Man Randy Powers, and we got a new intro that he's gonna do. Oh, uh, be vegan! Yes. Don't you dare be sour! Clap for your world famous macho news with me, Randy Powers! Oh, it's a yeah. Friday! Yes, it is. <laughs> so, during the pandemic, there were still some opportunities to take, so I got to host a telethon, which is like a bucket list thing with this thing called uh, Tucson Helping Tucson. That was amazing. That was a great opportunity. Uh, but one of the better things that did eventually happen was I got a job on the radio. I got my job back at the radio station because I worked at Rock 102.1 KFMA. I was a DJ, my other dream job, and I lost it in the pandemic. Toward the end though, luckily, I got an opportunity back at KFMA in a different role, which has been the best role where I get to be not just a DJ, I'm now the wacky sidekick, my dream job growing up. The wacky sidekick on a morning radio show with Beat Vegan, Beat Vegan Presents, Rock 102.1. Valentine's Day situation. If you went out to the bar dressed like this, but cleaner, you would score. No, I'd do it right. But cleaner. Like I agree. the problem is you look like the hobo of love. This is, yeah, that's not bad. The hobo of love. I think we might have a new fox skin <laughs> on our hands. Maybe FX. Yeah. Here, I'll give you one. Here, feel that material. Yeah, Here. 23 seconds. Feel no, that material. I, I hate touching the lore. It gives me the heebie jeebies. Well, you know what that material like the chills and You know what way. that material is? What? Boyfriend material. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got 12 seconds left. <laughs> so now things are back. And honestly, I feel more like myself again. Putting that suit on, it's amazing. Like it, it really is just that. And I feel the positive energy putting it on, right? And just, fe I feel more like myself. And that is the guy that shows up at all these events, at all these things to help kids, at all these public events, and just having fun and putting smiles on faces and taking pictures with people and just having the best time and showing kids that they're talented. That's what I keep running across. Kids that of course love to draw, that are drawn to my area and they're like, look what I can do. Or kids that then draw me a picture and it's the best thing ever. Like I say, I burst into tears. A kid gives me a drawing that they did. To be able to look at those kids and tell them that like, you're going to be incredible. What your, your ability already is something special. Is this something you think that you wanna do forever? And some of them know that like, yeah, I really do love drawing. I'm like, well, here's a bunch of stuff to get you inspired. Like, and that's what's really fun when you really can connect with like a wide-eyed kid that is just absolutely hanging on your every word because you are the example that is success. You're the proof. Like they see you and they're looking up to you saying like, well, if that guy can grow up into the guy that he wants to be, then maybe I can too. And that's kind of what I'm trying to do is just be that example of just, you can grow up and have fun, you know, be fun and do what you want and be who you want to be. And I think that's probably one of the most important things. I want kids to grow up and be unapologetically themselves. That's what I want them to be because that is who I am. And I'll tell you, it's just the best way to be. I'm your BFF, your best friend forever. Because I'm your BFF, your best friend forever. It's me, your BFF, your best friend forever. It's your BFF, your best friend forever. I'm your BFF, I'm your best friend forever. And I'm your BFF, your best friend forever. The Prince of Promotion, the King of Commotion. The King of Commotion. The Prince of Promotion. The Prince of Promotion, the King of Commotion. Prince of Promotion, King of Commotion. Your Master of Ceremonies and the Ambassador of Entertainment. The Prince of Promotion, the King of Commotion. Your Master of Ceremonies and the Ambassador of Entertainment. Woo! Woo! -hoo! I'm excited that you're excited too. And that's what I'm all about. Toot toot.